a special treat. Suzanne Giesman is a messenger of hope who shares the awakened way, which is a path to knowing who you are and why you are here, whether it's in her books or it's in her classes, workshops, weekly radio show, or her one-on-one -on -one personal sessions. Suzanne provides stunning evidence of life after death, something that we really cherish. She is a former U.S. Navy commander who has served as a commanding officer, and she's also been aide to the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. That's an impressive feat. Suzanne's gift of communication with those on the other side has been recognized as highly credible by noted afterlife researchers. She brings messages of hope, healing, and love that go straight to the heart. I hand you over now to Suzanne Giesman. Thank you, Jane, and hi, everybody. I just say, <laughs> I took a moment when I came in about five minutes ago to uh, run through the everybody who's participating and what a thrill to see a few very familiar faces. I recognize Fred, hi Fred, and Sandy, my gosh, we haven't connected in a long time. And Cheryl, good to see you. I give a big uh, thank you to Susan for all of the work in the background. I'm sure most of you are familiar with how much time and effort, sweat equity she's put into all of this and uh, very grateful to be included. I was asked to, to do this a while ago and it's just an honor. My thanks to the Monroe Institute for asking me to be one of its uh, external trainers. Some of my greatest uh, times of sharing occur there. The energy is so wonderful. I was asked to not speak today as me. I was asked to channel my guides, Sanaya. Uh, have, I don't know if you all, uh, first I want to tell you, I have not had the time to participate at all in either the weekend activities or the last couple of days activities. We've had house guests and I see the perfection in that now. I've just realized it because I know nothing about what you've discussed. I know nothing about the topics that have been being discussed by your small group. And I've been asked to have my guides talk about the way ahead and whatever it is this group needs to hear. So I think it's pretty cool that I don't have any idea. That way, what comes through is directly from spirit without any filtering through my consciousness or awareness on my part of what you've been talking about. So as you notice any overlap in what has been discussed in the last few days in these webinars, know that this one, which is what the guides call me, uh, has nothing to do with what's coming through. And I'm just going to say a few words and then get into this since we only have limited time. What's very interesting is that I was given a certain amount of time for this session today, and I just turn it over to the guides who always know exactly how much time they have. So I don't have to worry about how long they're going to talk. They will know when to stop talking. I also know that they, I speak of them as they, and I'm being told already, you better explain who they are. <laughs> Sanaya is a group of higher beings who I tapped into over 10 years ago. They just appeared in my meditation and started sharing insights with me. And they have given me daily messages to share with whoever resonates with them for over 10 years. There are 4,000 of those messages that go out in a format called Daily Way, The Daily Way. You can find it at dailyway.org. And it, their messages always speak to our unity, who we are and how to live attuned with our wholeness while we're here in human form. So they, the group is always changing. Whoever is needed at the moment is who comes through. And so today I'm simply surrendering to the intention that just the right beings will come through to talk to all of you to discuss exactly what you as a group needs. And I was told there would be a Q&A at, at the end of this session. 
the Q&A will be with the guides. I love when they do that because I've had skeptics attend these sessions before. And some of them told me that while Sanaya is speaking through me, they're thinking, well, she could have memorized that whole talk. But it's when the guides take questions and answer spontaneously in the same kind of fluency with which they just gave their little talk that people really know we are talking to aspects of higher consciousness. So they've already told me they will answer questions today. But the thing is, I, as the channel, have to hold the focus while the questions are being asked. So the way that Jane and I and Susan and I have worked out the questions will be handled is the questions, first of all, should be of a nature that applies to everyone in the group, not personal questions. And you'll type them in the chat somewhat near the end. It would be great if you just are paying attention while they're talking. But as, uh, as the time comes near that they, they will say, is there one of you with a question? Hopefully there'll be one or two in the chat already. Jane is going to choose as she's guided intuitively which question to ask and she'll just ask it please remember to unmute your mic jane and and she'll just ask it and sanaya will keep saying and is there another until they know it's time to end and then they'll just say thank you then i'll come out of the expanded state of awareness and just interact with you for as much time as we have left. If there are any questions for me at that time, okay, but hopefully they will have answered everything. So I'm hearing that that's enough. We need to maximize our time. So what's going to happen now is I'm going to enter into a state of expanded consciousness. I feel very connected to them already because they're talking to me and grabbing me already, but I need to surrender more than this when I channel. So it will take me anywhere up to two minutes, hopefully a lot less than that, to get to a point where I am surrendered enough that once they stop, once my mouth opens and the talking starts and they're talking through me, that I'm out of the way and they just flow. Uh, so your role in all of this is to be as open as possible. And I can feel the group energy already. The highest vibration is love, of course, and it's our unity that's brought us together here. So what makes this really awesome and easier for me is if all of you just move your awareness to the heart and you are my battery chargers, just radiate love towards me in whatever way you imagine that would work. And as I'm attuning, and that helps a lot. Just be aware of any changes in you while you're listening to them. Do you feel the temperature get warmer? Do you feel a tingling? Do you feel a connection? Uh, it's, it's very much an experiential thing to be present when they are present. I'm just checking if there's anything else I need to say. Just an invocation, they say. So let's begin then. Just uh, to bring us together, you have been a group, but I've been an outsider until now. So to bring us all together as a group with a clear intention for what we get out of this time together, we all just, you'll want your eyes open when they're speaking so you can see their gestures and how they actually uh, overlay this one here. <laughs> That's me. They don't use my name. But for now, let's close our eyes and I'll take a nice relaxing breath and settle into this group energy. and move our awareness to the heart and send love, not just to me, but connecting all with the rays that go out from our hearts, acknowledging that we are one group come together here for the greatest possible good, not only for this group, but for the world. And as I invite my guides to step in now and speak to this group, I affirm that I'll get out of the way more fully than ever before so that they can speak whatever needs to be said and will be heard by each. May each person hear exactly what they need to be, need to hear today. And may it lead to growth for this group, healing as it's needed and the way forward perfectly laid out as we fill this space with love and gratitude for this time together. Okay, all right.
Thank you so much. And I'll see you in a little bit. If I go over, I hope you'll forgive me. <laughs> Hopefully they won't do that to us. Here we go. Just give me the time. And this is when you all now just send uh, the loving energy this way. Come now. Good afternoon. And as you have seen already, we are moving this one about as if looking, as if peering about. And it is merely using the physical body as an instrument to display to you how many in the spirit world are gathered with you. Each one of you is not a solo being sitting alone, adding only your human contributions to this gathering, but also you come with your guides, your own personal team, as it were. For know this well, your thoughts are not all your own. Quite a few of you, we would give you a percentage for those of you who are analytical, but then you would begin to wonder, is it me or is it that one? But quite a few of you already work in concert with your guides in all that you do, tuning in intuitively, flowing as you seek the highest wisdom, the best way ahead. And what we mean by this is that when it comes time to make decisions, when it comes time to work with others as a group for the greater good, you do not do so from a place of how can I show off and show my wisdom and look good so that I contribute. But no, instead, you tune into the guidance that is always flowing through you, knowing that you are an aspect of the all that is, and that as you tune in, exactly what is needed will flow through you. And do you not find that the greatest results happen as this happens, this surrendered state that you get into when you realize I am not an island, I am not a sole proprietor of this body, but a part of the flow itself. And many of you have felt that in this reunion, that you are flowing together, allowing the ideas to do what they will, to dance with each other. It is when groups have members who are stuck in their viewpoint and push and push and push that you do not have harmony. Resonance is such a key to moving forward in harmony. And so change, we will discuss this for a bit of time as you understand it. Change creates resistance in those who cling to the idea of must, should, and need to. All of these concepts are part of the human reality. It comes from conditioning, which tells you that things do not happen unless you take certain steps. But if only you could release the have tos, shoulds, musts, and needs, you would find that the flow itself will take over. Oh, if only all of you could indeed flow like a river, a statement that this one heard when she turned on the computer at first and stepped into the flow with all of you. And it is quite a fitting analogy it is that one that grabs onto the stick, 
sticking out from the shore and grasps it for they do not wish to go with the flow. What is it that causes that grasping? It is the human mind, the sole proprietor of this me that believes my way is the best way and I will cling to it. I have not yet had a chance to state my opinion. I cannot wait until the others hear my opinion and oh, what they do, when they do, what they will think of me. Do you not recognize this type of human thinking? You see it all the time for that is how humans behave. But this group is made up of those who far more than most understand that you are far more than human in the words of your founder far more than the physical body. And oh, such truth is in this. And most of you have had the personal experience of being beyond the body. Get into that state as you do your planning, your strategizing and set the intention that all insights come from the flow itself and you will find much less resistance to whatever ideas come up. Change is only painful when there is a focus on a me instead of the we. But how can the we know what is best when the majority of the group is no longer clinging and keeps in mind we are the flow itself? Flow is another name for the source that arises, from which all arises. Flow is God, source, consciousness, always changing. Change is painful only for humans who do not realize they are more than human, who are still self-identified with the smaller self and not the greater we the self with a capital S that is actually quite nameless. It is the flow itself. And so there has been some controversy at the Monroe Institute of late, and it comes from clashing of opinions from resistance to change. We will tell you this one has heard minor rumors of this, but knows no details whatsoever. We will tell you that details are completely unimportant. What is important is sending love to all, seeing all who have made decisions, whether on this side of the fence or that side of the fence, as the players in an ongoing game. The yin and the yang, part of being human, see it and send compassion to the players who still believe that the game is all there is, but there is no game without the flow. And so if you find yourself in a position of pointing fingers, point that finger back towards a so-called being until that being dissolves into pure being and there you will find the peace and then you have released the blockage opened the dam so that what will flow is the unity the wholeness that underlies this institution from the start the goal being to bring more human beings into the awareness that all of you are being itself there is much gratitude for all of you from the world of spirit, the non-physical world, which knows flow far greater than any of you can imagine until you enter into your expanded states and flow with us. It is your many fall rays into our state of awareness that have allowed you to come to a place where your major motivation is to bring healing to your world. And what a blessing it is as the human aspects of you find healing as well, is it not? And so as you heal yourself, you heal your world. Again, what a blessing. We are blessed by your presence here today. And we do feel that our time with you will be best spent by answering the questions that you as a group 
have come up with and wish to move forward and answer as a group. And so while we may not give you all the minute details of answers, we will guide you at least in a way to obtain them as is our goal with you today. And so with flow as our goal, we will now entertain questions from this group. Is there a question? Yes, there is. Sanaya, how do you see the expansion of the Monroe Institute into the Spanish-speaking community? First of all, your internet is one of your greatest gifts for it is allowing you to reach people on a global basis. And you have come to know in the past year how unimportant it is to be in person. Although at the human level, because you are so focused on the physical body, you do so enjoy the physical interaction. But now you realize that you can engender this same loving, connected feeling even across the waves through your internet. But we digress. Through the, to the Spanish speaking world, you will have your intermediaries, just like this one, the medium is the intermediary for us. You will have the gift of speakers who speak both languages and can interact with those in the place of control. And we use that word lightly of direction and management who will guide those who are the intermediaries between the English speaking members of the board of the Monroe Institute, working with those in the Spanish speaking world. Know that they are being guided by those who speak no one language. And so the greatest advice we can give to you now is not to see it as an impediment, this language, but as an opening. Yes. Is there another? Ah and one postscript. That is to know that the perfect people will fall into your lap, volunteering with great enthusiasm to serve as these intermediaries. You as a group will be well served to share this intention and send it out through consciousness. And you will delight in seeing how this does indeed flow back to you. That is all. Is there another? How do we cross boundaries of color and gender identification? By not seeing them at all. Be quite careful of how you cater to those who believe that it is an issue at all. Do so with love and compassion, acknowledging the both and aspects of life. That yes, you are a body and you have these certain traits, but we as a group see all as one. Ask inside, if we had no rules, if we had no worries about boundaries, how would we respond to this? You must indeed, if you do go by the human musts, get outside of the box that are keeping your hands tied. Fear is a poison. The fear of having to tread lightly, the fear of walking on eggshells, what if, what if. This group has been based on love from its very inception, love being lack of separation. Therefore, as you find yourselves stepping on eggshells and feeling the fear, and this will take a bit of self-checking, you will notice that you are falling into human patterns, allow it to dissolve, and ask for guidance to flow. Acting only from the heart, the barriers will dissolve and you will still find yourselves setting a trend in this way. If this does not make sense, meditate on our words, reading them again and again until they seep into your awareness at the surface level. The fear is paramount. It arises as a ripple in awareness. This only acts and sh acts to serve as the awareness, I am in human mode. Do not resist it or feel in any way bad for having this fear. It is merely old conditioning of the human self coming to the surface to be dissolved. And another question, please. Yes, we believe that humanity is ready for a wider knowledge of the fact that we are more than our physical bodies. Do you see this as the same from the spirit side? Indeed, and you may understand it as a hunger 
your world has experienced disconnection and fear beyond what they had experienced at this level in the past year due to the opportunity that is your current virus. And so consciousness as the ground of all being is the virus that will now spread throughout your world through this hunger. Always it is discomfort that leads people in their human awareness to seek a better way. Continue to hold the awareness that indeed openings are occurring and you need not act with musts or have tos or even a sense of urgency. Act with the awareness that time is now. Hear us well, the time is always now. But what we mean by this is more people are aware that all there is, is now. The flow is ongoing, there is only now in the flow. You are all quite well in it and it is picking up speed only in terms of your awareness that there is greater intensity, greater knowing, a higher energy. This is evolution. As more and more of you are able to harness the higher energies of the non-physical world, this is flow. Is there another question? How can we best get back, return to our original energy, the blueprint from which the organism sprang or from which we were intended? We wish you to see yourself as a pattern of energy, an eddy in the flow. You cannot exist without the story of you. Your original pattern is the flow. Hear us well. This pattern is here and now for there is only the flow. You do not get back to it, my friends. You realize you are it and that for a while you are this temporary flow. It is no coincidence that this one, the channel, has recently read a quotation that we will share with you now through her. And that is that you all are quite familiar, we know, with the saying that you are both the wave and the ocean. Your pattern is the wave. Your original pattern that you seek to return to is the ocean. The quote we will share with you now is, you are not a wave and the ocean, you are the ocean waving. Do you see how this is a process? And we do not mean the human type of waving. It is the arising and the settling of the wave. You cannot control the wave, dear friend. When you try to do so, this is when you suffer. This is when you feel frustration. This is when you butt heads with others. This is when you cannot come to consensus and decisions. So this is why to simply go with the flow, to be the flow, to be the ocean waving is how you return to your original state of being. It has not been lost. It has not gone anywhere. You are the flow. That is why when others say you are God in expression, it is all the self same process. We can see the light bulbs going on in some of you. Do not ever think you have ever come to the end of this journey. There are simply more ways of understanding who you are and clearing out misconceptions that there is a you at all or that is separate from the flow. And so as a group, you have converged. You see each other as individual windows on a screen. We see you as the screen itself and individual manifestations of the screen popping up as what you would call a you and a you and a you with a name and all of this quite necessary so that you can interact and create something more beautiful than the screen itself, but it is all the screen arising as you and you and you. When you turn off your monitors today, you will all return to your individual lives or so you think. 
but you will be changed through these interactions. It is the flow, simply flowing, but the flow itself does not change. It simply is. The screen is not modified permanently by your appearance on it now. How do you return to your true nature? Be the screen, go with the flow. It is already here. You do it moment by moment by moment. The flow is always here. You exhale into the wave. You inhale back into pure being. It is through awareness that you return. There is nothing to do. Just be and flow as the flow. How does this help you as a group when you can sit together as a group and flow, contributing what arises in awareness, not, oh, I have not spoken in a while, I should contribute so that I look intelligent. And we say this with humor and you may laugh as well for you recognize having been there. You all are there for all of you have gotten stuck in your human patterns. The medium included, all of you have been through the suffering that ensues from thinking I am an island. Dissolve and be free. We will take a couple more. Next question, please. You just described a process that would help us become aware of our biases and become aware of how we are unable to cross boundaries of color, gender, race. Could you tell us more about this, these practices? Focusing on the size and shape, intensity and frequency of the wave gives power to the wave and ignores what the wave is. Enough said. Were we to say more, we would be repeating ourselves. The question was answered not only directly, but in the answer previous to this one. It is all one web. And a final question, please. The flow comes and the flow goes. Where is the flow going to? The flow is, you are thinking in linear terms that there is a beginning and an end. In your human terms, it may help you to think circular, but even that is giving shape and form to that which is formless. It is. The flow happens. Does this help you? It does. If you are thinking in linear terms, a flow with a beginning and end, again, that is human thinking. It is quite understandable. Do not berate yourself by this, but see it as a moment to dissolve more and simply be the flow. We can see that even the term flow is keeping you trapped. And so we will give you yet another way. Light, a field, a field is. Each of you is a vibration in the field. And yet as there is one vibration, there is another over here, but it is one field. There are so many ways that you try to wrap your arms around and your minds around pure being. Words cannot describe this. We know that today you have had new insights. The word flow excites you for you can understand this. It is not a matter of thinking about it. It is a matter of recognizing what is already known as you dissolve into the flow. Please remember, it is not either or, but both. You are the ocean waving, being the wave. Can you control the wave? Why would you want to? Have you not experienced what happens when you try to control other waves, let alone your own? Have you not seen what happens when you simply flow? Do not have the slightest worry 
about where this group is going. Rejoice in where it is now. It is flow that has brought you to this point. You have harnessed each moment of the existence of the Monroe Institute, and it has come to this point through the perfection of life, the flow, synonyms you understand, unfolding as it will. And if along the way, certain humans butted heads and the flow was diverted this way or that, the innate beingness of the flow, which is in itself, intelligence itself, has always brought it to a new and better way of waving. Trust the flow. Trust the intelligence from which the waves arise. You are the ocean waving. Therefore, that intelligence cannot help but arise through you. If that gives you a moment of pride, that is the stuckness of being an eddy. Simply notice that human nature, laugh at it and say that there before the fall of pride go I. If that makes no sense, do not worry. Simply dissolve into the flow once again. We hope we do not sound like a broken record, but there are limitless ways of saying that which cannot be put into words ultimately. Therefore, you can think your way through this. Try to put words to all of this when indeed knowing comes before speaking. The answers already exist in possibility within the flow. The more you cease grasping the shore and resisting change and go with the flow, understanding that change will happen, but you do not have to choose change. That change is not an indicator of necessarily good or bad things. It simply is the way of life. You will reap great success in the form of healing and help for your fellow human beings so that they may come to realize we are far more than the physical body. What we mean by the latter, going back several sentences, is do not feel that you must, a human term, enact change simply to show improvement. The pause is intentional. Allow change to happen. You cannot stop it. The flow is happening. Simply tune in to the group flow as you move forward and you will know which aspects of change to embrace. We embrace all of you with our love and our gratitude for your generosity of spirit in coming together for the purpose of growth and love. You are all so very loved. It can be no other way. For as we said previously, love is lack of separation. When you are in the flow, all is one. Even in your eddies, all is one. As you come to know that, suffering ceases and love in abundance is known. We bid you good afternoon. Very good. Hmm.
I'm just so curious. What time was I supposed to go to, Susan? Cool. Whatever time Sanaya wished. No, no. It's what you. I'm just curious what you told me because I can't remember. Wasn't we it had like you until three thirty plus Q and A? Okay. So if oh, you great. would like to chat with us as Dan, <laughs> we would love to have that. Well, I hope that was helpful. I, I, I will tell you that. Um, I got to clear the fog a little bit. One Sanaya of the first questions. Spot on. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. good. I hope that afterwards, Susan or Jen will, will, will can talk offline and you can tell me how I love validation. But um, people always one of the first questions is they want to know is what's that like for you? And for me, it's just I'm absolutely high right now. If I'd had any pain, it would be gone. It's like an anesthetizing high. I've never been high on drugs, but it's a high. <laughs> I'm grateful to all of you for the love you sent this way. I'm seeing Fred and Sandy on my screen. That's great. Hi, everybody. <laughs> all right. Uh, they're still here. So I'll answer from us. I love the um, quote. You are the ocean having a wave. I mean, that that's a beautiful quote. The ocean waving. The ocean <laughs> waving. Um, it, that's... Uh, there's several chat questions in chat that seem more appropriate to ask later than earlier. Uh, mm -hmm. More of them are on, on how do we do this and what's the nuts and bolts of doing that. And Sanaya was saying, hold those off to later, pull these other questions forward, which is kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. um, things about reaching Scandinavia, um, mm -hmm. crossing boundaries, reaching the younger generation. And they're saying now because the overall guidance they were showing of how to be in the state to answer those questions and how to work as a group are what will allow you to come up with those answers yourselves. They gave an example of it. I hear they, people want to know, do you hear what's said? Absolutely. Concepts can come back to me now, but the answer about the Spanish speaking, it was something about when you follow these processes, what you need will fall into your lap. And so use the process that they spoke about with any of those specific questions and you will come with greater uh, answers that are more in alignment with what the spirit world would give you. They're not here to give you the answers to those specific questions, only how to get those answers. So that was great, Jane, that you knew to keep those till later. <laughs> I was, yeah, I looked at them. I went, no, these are supposed to go later. And I tried to, pull from the energy and find the right questions. So <laughs> I didn't ignore you guys questions. I just needed to <laughs> flow with that one for a while. I think some of it is much like um, the way the trainers work during sessions where people put their hand up and say, how do I do this and that? And the trainer says, well, how do you think you should do it? <laughs> I think your, your guides are, um, forcing us to look inward. And that's a, uh, sometimes an extremely scary place. Or, or asking yeah. us to work together. It's, it's more of, they're showing me right now, it's, oh, okay. They're showing me the infinity sign. It, you can do it with the breathing to say, well, here's my human input, but this is also the, what I'm tuning into intuitively. And as a group, I'm tuning into what you all are saying. They're showing me fields upon fields. When we can see that this person in the body is a field, but everybody that I'm seeing in front of me is also a field of the flow and a field being an eddy or a field in the field of light, focused light versus the light itself. As you can set the intention that whenever you work with anybody to be in that state of dancing and flowing with whatever field shows up in the moment that gets you out of being stuck on this central view, this is a dance. And that dance includes your unseen helpers and the field itself. So do that and you guys will be like the best board in the world. <laughs> I think we're, we're in a good position that we have so many people within and around the Institute that are so well connected to yeah. the larger aspect of themselves that um, 
it's amazing. You know, I've, I've been in a lot of different teams doing a lot of, you know, different things. And um, the, the way that we can be our whole selves and bring all of that to what we do, I think is really amazing. And it, and it sort of speaks to that whole aspect of, you know, bringing the whole you to, to the table and not just your left or your right brain. Yeah, exactly. So questions from the group. For the group or for me or anything. I'm seeing in the chat, Mark, uh, Mark Krusen has a question. Um, Mark, do you want to come ahead? Sure. Um, so Suzanne, since you still have Sanaya with us and thank you for all of your wonderful wisdom, it's certainly, it just, there's so much to consider as we work through these things. I'm curious if you get any read on, on Monroe, as we grow and become part of this wider community, uh, and as we start to, I don't know if this is the right word, but we start to integrate ourselves into these broader communities of fellow organizations, IONS, IANS, all the different names you can imagine, and how we figure out how we partner with groups so that we bring our unique energy and offerings to the world so that it's not about us trying to compete like corporations compete, but it's like us as friends in an organization knowing where they do well and where we do well and just having that wonderful spirit of collaboration. That's the word right there. Uh, it was when you, the, when you first, I'm taking notes as they're talking as you're talking. Uh, when you first began speaking, they shouted collaboration at me. And that word didn't come out to the very end when you said it there. Collaboration is the best view with which to see those interactions, but they're very much, they're throwing up red flags. The caution is as a group to give any offers, the heart test. Testing is that group coming from the same motivation place that Monroe Institute is. You're dealing with uh, a reality in which money is always part of the interactions and to not see that as a detriment, but an opportunity to, to uh, further your goals. But at the same time, some groups are more money focused than others. That's only one way in which to test should we enter into a collaboration with this organization. So it's simply a heart test, but absolutely they're giving the thumbs up for much more collaboration. They're showing that it's time for, <laughs> it's time for TMI to be more than TMI, for the Monroe Institute to be more than just Oh, that's too much information. I don't, I don't need to know about that group. They're saying that it's time for the Monroe Institute to really be a well-known name and not just a little enclave over here. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's great. They're, they're also uh, drawing my attention right now. I have you back, all of you in gallery view. Carol's, Carol's little, Carol Shiflet's little icon is that beautiful picture of the earth with the sphere around it and the bright light coming off of it. It's a, it's a screensaver that a lot of zoom windows have. And they're saying that that's how we see the earth. This, this light right there is your group right now, even though you're in different locations, it's one brighter light. And that as you have individual groups like yours gathering, all of those lights turn up the whole, like a, it adds collectively to the light that we see from the body of humanity. Okay. Just a, a nod of affirmation that your efforts are helping and making a difference. Um, Dan had his hand up. Yeah, I, I think you've already answered the question. I, I'm looking at the energy of the Monroe Institute and the energy of our target audience or the people that we want to add is it converging are we doing the things that help those two energies come together 
they're showing me a big magnet, those, those old U-shaped magnet, the big U-shaped magnets. And it's, you are a magnet because of the energy you're radiating out is such a match for those who are hungry to be attracted and are naturally attracted to what you are offering. So it is a convergence, but it naturally happens because your energy is in alignment with flow. And as people around the world also align their individual waves, flows, eddies, with the flow that you're putting out, you'll see that convergence happening more and more. Great, thank you. And we have a question from uh, Sandy as well. Hey, Suzanne, how are you? You're doing great, Sandy. Uh, I have a question. I, you didn't see the earlier presentation from Dan, who I believe is still on, um, who gave a, an enorm, a, a, a really good presentation on an, a person who was earlier at Monroe who had a group that she called the Friends. And they seem an awful lot like Sanaya. So maybe this is a question for Sanaya, but does Sanaya know the Friends? By any chance? And th th you've, I'm sure you saw this ridiculous lip twitch re as I was tuning in. <laughs> I just got it again. It's, it's simply my guide's way. And they said, stop calling it ridiculous. It's my guide's way of saying, we're here. We've got this. Trust us. But they just grabbed me there as you said that and said, what is a friend but a connection? And at the higher levels, we know only connection. We are all friends there are only friends. It is different than the way you know each other. We recognize only resonance. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Let's see. Any other questions out there? And I don't see any hands up at the moment. A lot of wonderful messages for you, Suzanne, and for Sanaya. Many thanks from many people. Thank you. I, I love this. I haven't channeled them in a while. And, it, and uh, I think it's the first time I've done it without others in the room with me to add the energy. But I've just learned that it comes. It, of course, there's no real separation. So it, it's we do, have, we do have one more hand now, Becky. I just want to say thank you. And I was a student in all three of the shift classes and I'm in Vicki Crane's Monday night group. So I'm just saying hi. Wonderful. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. So you've seen Sanaya before. They know you. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know all of you. but uh, And I got to meet Karen in person um, in, in October, which was really great. Oh, how. Karen Crawford. Lucky for both of you. <laughs> yeah, I know. It was yeah. sweet. So that's all it. Friends. Bye. Wonderful. <laughs> All right. Well, that feels like a lovely place to end. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you so very, very much for not only joining us, but helping us through Sanaya pull together everything that has been a part of the last four days. I appreciate it very, very much. Your I, I appreciate all of you and your loving energy and openness and the opportunity to, to sit in the presence of this. I hope it's been helpful and I look forward to interacting with all of you in some way in the future. Blessings Thanks. to all of you. Thank you.